Hello. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I warmly welcome all of you to the inaugural joint symposium conducted by Sri Lanka College of Pulmonologists in collaboration with Sri Lanka College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists on a timely and an important topic, maternal respiratory health. To start off the day's proceedings, let us all rise for the national anthem. Thank you. Please remain standing. In keeping with the traditions, let us start the day's proceedings with the lighting of the traditional lawn lamp. To do the honours, let me kindly call upon Dr. Mangala Disanayaka, President, Sri Lanka College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. Dr. Niranjan Disanayaka, President, Sri Lanka College of Pulmonologists. Dr. Darshan Abe Gunawadana, Chairman, Scientific Activities, Sri Lanka College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. Dr. Anand Ranatunga, Honorary Past President, Senior Obstetrician and Gynecologist. Dr. Bodhika Samrasekara, Immediate Past President, Sri Lanka College of Pulmonologists. Dr. Dilshan Priyankara, President, Ceylon College of Critical Care Specialist. Dr. Achinta Disanayaka, Secretary, Sri Lanka College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. Dr. Sachini Senaviratna, Coordinator for the Program and Honorary Joint Secretary, Sri Lanka College of Pulmonologists. Dr. A.K.P. Ranavira, Coordinator for the Day's Proceedings, Sri Lanka College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. Dr. Upul Patirana, Honorary Joint Secretary, Sri Lanka College of Pulmonologists. And representing the sponsors for the day, Mr. Akalanka Panangalage, Director and Country Manager, SIPLA Sri Lanka. Thank you. Now, let me cordially call upon Dr. Mangaladi Sanayaka, President, Sri Lanka College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, to deliver the welcome address. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's my pleasure and honor to welcome you all of this, all of you for this uh, workshop uh, organized by the College of Sri and Gynecologists and, and College of Pulmonologists. So I again warmly welcome our past presidents uh, and Dr. Nanjit Sanayaka, president of College of Pulmonologists and 
consultants from both sides and trainees and doctors who attend this meeting. I this is a very important meeting because in fact, Nilanjan, my colleague who, who came up with this idea to have a joint symposium about a couple of months back. So this is, rest is history. So <clears throat> it is not easy to organize this kind of a event without support from the consultants. So I have to thank the both teams uh, led by Niranjan and from our side, uh, Darshan and Prabodhana. And they made a lot of effort to organize a, a wonderful event. So I think we made a couple of, I think at least we had several meetings to have a, a organize this meeting and have a good program for the all of you. So in fact, the respiratory disease is one of the commonest problems we are facing. Uh, in fact, if you take, if you go back to a couple of years, then it was the commonest cause for the maternal death. And even, even now, it is one of the, it's probably the commonest cause for the uh, maternal morbidity in our country. So this is a timely topic. I think it will be a very useful for everybody, consultant, trainees and everyone to learn on, on the importance of having respiratory problems in, in pregnancy. So uh, again, I wish to thank all the speakers, trainees, and, and our sponsors, CIPLA. They came forward without any hesitation to sponsor this event. So without them, we will not have able to have a, this kind of program. So let me thank them at the beginning. And I won't take much of your time because this is an important meeting. We need to start at 8.30 and we have stacked a lot of cases. Most of them are case-based discussions, so you can, we like to interact with you during the course of the program. Please bear with us at the, because our downstairs are under repair, so we have to provide the tea and lunch in a makeshift place. So please bear with us. And without taking much time, uh, I wish to thank everyone who contribute to this program. Thank you very much. Next, I'd like to call upon Dr. Niranjan Disanayaka, President, Sri Lanka College of Pulmonologists, to give us an overview of the day's proceedings. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Manisha. And uh, Dr. Mangala Disanayaka, President of the Sri Lanka College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, Council members and the past presidents of the Sri Lanka College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, my dear colleagues, uh, past presidents, and uh, resource personnel from the Sri Lanka College of Palmologists, resource persons from other esteemed college, colleges, special invitees, including our media colleagues, and other uh, representatives from the sponsors. So it is indeed a pleasure to talk to you at the inauguration session of the Maternal Respiratory Health Symposium that is organized jointly by our two esteemed colleges. So we thought that rather than, you know, we pursuing our own agenda, it is always better to get involved in multidisciplinary approach in managing our patients, especially the patients with obstetric complications. So hence, we thought of developing this uh, symposium. One of the major reasons is that when we look at uh, the maternal uh, health of the world population, it is unfortunately said that every two minutes a woman dies somewhere in the world because of uh, pregnancy-related issues. So after, within the past few minutes that have passed, probably about five or six women have died in the world, somewhere in the world, majority of them probably in the African continent, has died because of maternal com complications. And unfortunately, we have about almost 300,000 maternal deaths per year, according to the 2020 statistic, which is the latest that I, would, I was able to get from the uh, WHO. So that is equal to the amount, almost equal to the amount of pregnancies that we have per year in, the Sri, in Sri Lanka. And we have about 223 maternal deaths per 100 live cases towards in the world. 
But when we look at the Sri Lankan context, and I think we can be very, very, very happy considering that we are a low or middle income country in the world compared with most of the countries. When we look at 1911, unfortunately, we had a maternal mortality rate, that is the, the, the maternal deaths per 100,000 live births of about 2,500. That means about one in 20 mad mothers have probably died in the 1900s, in the early 1900s. And due to the efforts of our colleagues in obstetrics and gynecology, as well as our colleagues in other specialities, Sri Lanka were able to bring this down significantly by 1995 and 2000. So in 2000, there were about 61 uh, uh, maternal deaths per 100,000. And in, but in 2020, we were able to bring it down further to 29 per 100,000 live births. So we have actually done tremendously well when we compare with other countries in the world. You can compare Sri Lanka is always in the yellow rather than the blue, maroon or red categories. So in the Sri Lankan context, by 2020, we are steadily reducing the maternal deaths in Sri Lanka due to the interventions that we have made in the healthcare system. And probably it has something to do with this improved social structure as well. But still, around 100 to 130 mothers die each year in Sri Lanka. So when we look at the causes of these deaths, when we analyze the causes, this is the 2020 data, obstetric hemorrhage and heart diseases have been prominent, but we see that respiratory diseases have contributed to about eight deaths. These are only deaths, but we know the immense suffering because of the respiratory diseases, the morbidity to the mother as well as the child, and we have not actually think, thought about the adverse maternal or adverse uh, fetal outcomes in this. And in certain years, like 2013, we see that there was a significant set, uh, deaths due to respiratory diseases. And while most of them were due to pneumonia. And you can see that influenza and the viral pneumonia comes mainly into the picture. And these are actually preventable deaths. It is rather unfortunate. In 2014, respiratory diseases were the major cause. 2015, again, the second major cause. And 2016, it has pushed down to about fourth or fifth. But when we look at the yearly data, respiratory health has caused significant problems to and the causes of maternal deaths. And when we look at the analysis of these deaths, majority are due to pneumonia and some are due to asthma. So most of these causes, unlike the cardiac conditions, which might not be, you know, which might be reversible, these deaths would have been prevented, could be prevented with early intervention. Especially about asthma, we have a high burden of asthma in Sri Lanka, unfortunately. We are one of the countries which has the highest burden of asthma in Sri Lanka. And in certain studies, majority of the studies, we have understood that control of asthma even while on treatment, is very, very poor in the majority of the patient. And this is also there in pregnant patients as well. So even though self-reported asthma is about 6% in majority of the patients, about 33% had at least one hospital admission due to exacerbation. And low birth weight was prevalent in these asthma patients. So asthma patients are common in Sri Lanka, especially present into the obstetricians and the gynecologists, as well as our medical specialities. And un unfortunately, some of them are under control, causing severe exacerbations, needing intensive care and HDU care for these patients. And at the same time, the influenza that I talked to you about previously. Hence, understanding the basic pathophysiology, starting from the first symposium that we will be doing, we will be analyzing how we tackle a breathless patient, which is rather a non-specific uh, presentation in these patients. And uh, in that, we will be looking at how to analyze the patient subjectively and objectively. And we will be discussing about the physiological alterations of pregnancy in these patients. And at the same time, we will be discussing a case-based approach for managing asthma when the patient comes to the outpatient clinic. In the second symposium, we will be discussing about influenza, COVID, tuberculosis, and bacterial pneumonia, which are major causes of maternal morbidity and mortality, 
at the, even at the primary onset or as a secondary cause of diseases. And after tea, we will be discussing about uh, very important certain aspects about uh, uh, pregnancies who are having uh, emergency situations when the patient presents with emergencies, pulmonary embolism, amniotic fluid embolism, asthma, myasthenic crisis, aspiration, and other in emergencies where we need to intervene into these patients very early rather than late. Hence, identification and management in the appropriate way will be very important. The last but the not least will be the high-risk pregnancies, how to identify, how to tackle even before pregnancy and when the patient comes with pregnancy and how we should pre provide him care for in the postpartum period as well. So we have a diverse topic uh, collection for this uh, symposium and nothing would have been even able to do without the uh, you know the support that we got from the obstetric college in providing us with uh, the resource persons as well as our colleagues who agreed without any hesitation to be a resource person and at the same time uh, the tremendous support that we got from the participants as well as the sponsors especially SIPLA I would like to thank them again for sponsoring this event. So hopefully we will have a very academically stimulating conference as the inauguration, inauguration session of maternal respiratory health and I hope that next year probably as the immediate past president I'll be able to come for another symposium organized by the two colleges and our uh, the next president is here, Rishi is here, so hopefully we will carry out this tradition uh, throughout the years to come. Thank you very much uh, for your kind uh, attention and hopefully we will have a very interesting scientific session. Thank you.